What's up Capricorn and Subsidian Lotus L. I hope all is well. Before we get started guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. Um, hold on, let me adjust this a tiny bit. Um, most of you guys know if you follow me, if you don't, um, I went through crazy year this past year. I was on chemotherapy for six months. I had two surgeries. I just had my last surgery eight, week, eight weeks ago. Yeah. So I'm still recovering. I'm not working at the moment. I'm a single mother. So I do have a GoFundMe link set up in my description box below if you'd like to donate. Um, or if you'd like to send me positive words, prayers, all that good stuff. Everything is appreciated. And I love you guys. Anybody that already has, you guys are the best. Okay. Um, there's something that you're thinking about, <laughs> um, and it's like, it has to do with how you feel wanting to tell the truth about something that you're emotional about, or you have some emotion. It could have to do with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio energy. I'm looking at the Eagle in this card. Um, there is some sort of an ending and there's something that has to do with children here. Being afraid you're going to hurt somebody's, it could be like hurt a child's feelings or, um, I don't know, some kind of truth about how you feel. There's been some sort of a painful ending here in a situation where it feels like somebody just kind of basically like threw you out of a boat. That's what this that's what this card looks like, right? So, and it just, see how his hands, he's reaching up and the other person is severing, severing anything, anything that could keep you on the boat here, right? So maybe there's some feelings about that, whatever you're going through right now. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. So it's definitely a um, karmic cycle of completion though, energy, Capricorn. So before we get started, let me say my little prayer. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please help me provide Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Amen. Archangel Michael, please protect us um, from any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness, and protect us with your white light of protection. Amen. Um, let's do an angel oracle card first. What messages do we have for Capricorn? happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in new positive energy, right? So if you've been looking to move or something about possibly looking for a new job or these two things are three, three, three. So there's definitely divine protection moving you into a situation here that is going to be better and make you happy. Okay. Um, let's do a romance oracle card for love. Do we have for love or Capricorn? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So again, positive, stay positive, okay? Um, so if you've had some stinking thinking towards love, change your view, right? Stay positive and optimistic if you're single about meeting someone, right? Don't feel like, oh, I'm never gonna meet someone because if you're constantly in that energy or worry, that's the energy that you're actually sending out to the universe and what's gonna get sent back to you is, oh, you're never going to get someone, right? So 
the universe is like, well, you're never going to get someone since that's what you're thinking, right? So it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of you are very guarded. Okay. This energy shows up if you're really guarded. So let your guard down. It's safe for you to love. If you're in a situation where you're feeling really guarded because the spirit saying, you know, let your guard down. It's safe for you to love with this person. Okay. Maybe you're questioning somebody, whether they're trustworthy or not. Okay. We've got communication now. So it could be, could be somebody you're already communicating with. Yeah, you've been worried about it. So there's your answer for whoever that's for. Spirit, angels, angels, yeah. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. This person is looking for commitment. So they are trustworthy. If that's what you're looking for. Okay. Somebody is waiting on some money or something that has to do with the past here, money from the past, someone from the past, but you're also in the energy of, um, with the full card, a new beginning, okay? Possibly here's a new home, having clarity about uh, a situation possibly, needing to move, wanting to move. We're going to clarify what these cards are coming out though. What is this that's peeking its head out? Eight of, eight of Wands. Communication. And my TV just blinked. Communication coming in about a new home. Or about your home here. It's going to make you happy. All right. And you're leaving a situation. Could be leaving a situation here. Okay. Or leaving something, making some kind of change that you're going to be happy about. Here, Ace of Cups energy is the overall energy, the start of something new, the potential for deeper intimacy here, okay, and the opportunity for a connection. So again, there is the potential here with the Ace of Cups in a situation for some of you that are starting something new for it to grow into something. So again, it's just the energy of letting your guard down, right, and allowing it to happen. There's this Fool card energy. The hangman in reverse. Okay, that to me always says like, there's something about this new beginning you need to get a different perspective about. Maybe there's a new new beginning and it was unexpected, right? And you're just kind of having to go with it. Maybe Spirit is asking you to get a new perspective in regards to that. Yeah, with the nine of pentacles, this wanted to come out in reverse. So there might be something about with a page of pentacles in reverse too, about money here that maybe you're not so comfortable with, with this new beginning energy at the moment. But we've got the star card. So this is definitely um, hope, right? Um, Aquarius energy, the energy of prayers being answered in a situation and having hope. Ten of Cups energy, yeah. So you've got the Ten of Cups energy coming into, this is long-term happiness. So even if it's not a relationship, this is just, you know, hold on, right? This new beginning, it might be rough, it might be bumpy, whatever's going on, I feel that's what's going on for you, Capricorn, right now, or has been recently. Um, with this Ten of Cups, you're actually moving into this energy. It's like setting you up for long-term happiness is what I see, okay? What is the Six of Cups energy? Eight of Pentacles, working hard, walking away, okay? Um, you walked away from something that you worked hard for in the past. It's been really emotional for you. Person, place, thing, right? Whatever it is. And then Two of Swords, but you need to, you need to make a decision now. And I feel like the decision possibly is how possibly, sorry, my roommate is coming in the door. Um, <clears throat> with the two of swords, it's the energy of needing to make a decision about um, stability, right? And moving forward. Seven of Swords energy. 
there has been something you're thinking about that was deceptive or somebody kept something from you, maybe that's the decision that you need to make in regards to stability. Hey, I'm almost done. Um, with the two of cups, though, there is this, it's like either a partnership, it's like, is that fireworks? Okay. Yeah. Um, I just heard the fireworks. With, with the two of cups energy, There's something about a partnership, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partnership, but there's something here being cut from you that has to do with a partnership. It could be a finance that you're going to have to make a decision about that's affecting stability or will be, okay? Um, with the Ace of Swords, you're going to be given, it's like the Ace of, yeah, things working out behind the scenes, Justice Energy, Libra Energy, um, things working out in your favor. The Ace of Swords to me is basically you're going to get clarity or truth about a situation, but it's going to work out in your favor. Again, this is, we're over here celebrating home energy and walking away from something that didn't make you happy. Yeah, that brought a lot of stress with the Nine of Swords energy. What is this Four of Wands? Two of Wands. So yeah, it's like really you're almost there. Right? You can with this this card is kind of your desires are within reach. So it's like you can really literally like almost touch it, right? So again, um, I feel like if you're letting things get to you, again, get a different perspective because you're almost in the direction that you want to go, or you're almost where you want to be, right? With this energy. This is the doing whatever it takes energy too. It's like you've already this overall energy. You've been in this. I'm going to get it. I'm going to do whatever it takes. King of coins energy. This is a boss. There could be a new boss energy. Okay. King of coins if it's money. Or an older Taurus Virgo Capricorn masculine energy. Or this could be your energy, right? You could be... Um, yeah, there's a completion. There could be some kind of traveling here. You could be doing something here for work, traveling, boss energy. And then the five of swords in reverse. So it's again, it's like you're you've stepped away from conflict, deceptive energy. And you're moving towards something that's going to bring more balance into your life, okay? Or this is the direction you've already gone on. But I feel like because you did that, that's bringing in all this new stuff. And this is new. For some, it's like new house I'm getting. A new house. You're going to be really happy or you're going to be celebrating. Maybe there's like housewarming party energy. Could be moving in with somebody with a lover's Gemini energy. And then judgment, yeah. Maybe a Gemini decide they want to move in with you. Um, there's a lot of love here, but this is mutual. Maybe this is what they propose. Like, I don't know. Like, they just decided, you know what, let's just... You're walking away, so for some of you, this is... You're walking away, so they're asking you to move in with them. Um... There's some sort of a wake-up call. Maybe you gave this person a wake-up call. Money news. And then the four of wands again. Yeah, something's going to happen with money that's going to be able to... Maybe you're buying a home or somebody you've been thinking about buying a home. Maybe the two of you end up buying a home or something. Okay. angel oracle really quick it's 
the lovers. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples and removes negative energy. So again, this has all been divinely orchestrated in this energy, okay? So it's bringing peace to a situation. Again, I think in the end, you're going to be very happy. All right, six of pentacles. This is um, equal give and take energy with this, right? Um, divine grace being shown grace in a situation and then with the strength card loyal so it's a situation for some of you where you weren't getting loyal energy or something like that you will be okay and it's been a divine divinely orchestrated as well. okay yeah have patience so if you feel like you're not getting anywhere right now have patience also with this king of cups angel card this is restitution finding stolen objects and discovering the person responsible and so this says the top says god sees everything so also with this five of pentacles that's taken a loss being left out in the cold again for some of you if there was something like this that had to do with finances it's going to be um you're going to be if it's not restitution from the person or whatever happened it's like the universe giving it back to you okay all right let's do a few tea leaf really quick before we end the reading all right angels and sisters guys what other messages do you have for Capricorn time to get out of a situation with the pale says beware of self delusion <laughs> so when that card comes out i think it's about ego it's like we all have one we just have to be careful right sometimes and not be too much in ego someone will gossip about all your secrets of the parrot so be careful about who you're telling your biz to all And then goldfish, an increase in material wealth and spiritual growth is coming. We're going to leave it there because it's positive. All right, guys, so I hope this was helpful for someone. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.